Hi, it's Jackie Othin here with Real Estate Real Talk. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to win in multiple offer scenarios. As a seasoned agent who's been in many multiple offer situations over the years, I can tell you there's some clear winning strategies that help you and your clients win when buying a home. If you're buying a home this fall, you wanna watch this video. Pace, you gotta pick up the pace. If you have a habit of getting to properties only on weekends, the market and beautiful homes are not gonna wait for you. I say this to all clients, if you're committed to getting into the market and you're committed to the buying process, you gotta move your feet. You wanna get to the property before anybody else does. You wanna watch the market? real time. So these overnight updates that realtors send you overnight from MLS, no good. You want to be set up on direct links to their system or to the MLS that show you listings that just hit the market and you want to be ready to stop, drop and roll and get out to see those properties before they're gone. Finances. Get your finances in order before you get to the multiple offer table. What do I mean by that? If you're working with a lender, you want to make sure that that person understands that it might be a situation where you are in a multiple offer environment. The questions to ask of that lender are, am I prepared to buy? Am I prepared to buy firm? What do I need to do in order to be prepared to buy firm? What happens if the property doesn't appraise out? A question most people don't really talk about. That's another video. You want to make sure that the lender has a clear understanding of your financial picture in order to provide good advice in order to give you the support that you need to be successful in multiples. So get the financial stuff out of the way because you're not going to win with a financial condition on offer night, right? Inspections. Sometimes we see people with conditions for inspection win on an offer night. Often not, especially if you're buying in Toronto. Often the date that's set by the listing agent to receive specific offers or multiple offers on a specific date already is a clear indication that they're hoping for the best and final offer to be the winner. In order to go in and be competitive, you want to make sure that you get your inspection out of the way. Does that mean doing it preemptively? Does that mean doing none at all? I'm not providing advice on that. I think you should always have one done. I think it's worth spending a few hundred bucks to get the inspection done and out of the way so that you know exactly what you're buying and so that you can go in strong-handed, heavy-handed and firm on offer night. Get the financing done, get a contract to walk through if you need to, make sure that all of those questions about the home are answered before you get to the table. Aww. Deposit upon acceptance or deposit herewith. For those of you who've bought and sold before, you know what this means. On the first page of an offer here in Ontario, you've got a deposit section that either says, if I win the property, I will bring you the deposit within 24 hours of acceptance, or I have it herewith, meaning, as a buyer, representing a buyer, my buyer's gone to the bank, pulled a deposit of 5% or more, sometimes more is better, sometimes 10%, sometimes more than that. It's very much a question of preparedness. Let's get people prepared, let's get the deposit here with where we can so that the seller's choice is to take an offer where they can sleep tonight knowing their home is sold for. Okay, level-headed. I know this isn't one of the tips to ensure you're successful on an offer night, but it's a really important one that I have to say. Keep a level head. That house that you love, that house that you see yourselves in and your kids in or your dog in or your partner in you in, it won't be the last house around. It just won't be. As an experienced agent, I know people always land where they're meant to be. We never put people in houses that they're not meant to be and it just doesn't happen, not with us. So keep a level head. If the multiple offer night is dragging on further than you'd like, longer than you like, or the prices seem to be getting out of reach and your agent keeps getting pushed back, you want to make sure that you keep a level head. Have a clear idea of the comparables, know what the house you're buying is worth, and have a number or a range where you're willing to walk away and start your search again. Hope these tips are useful for you. Remember the video, the advice that we give here should not trump getting one-on-one -on -one advice from a realtor who is trustworthy, who you can lean on, who's got good information. And it also, I will say, final tip, it takes a really good and seasoned negotiator to win on offer night. So these videos, they're just guidelines. Make sure that you've partnered with the best so that your time is used wisely and that your searches are ending in success and not you're not feeling deflated after every offer night where you've lost regroup, have an agent who can help you and help you win. Good luck with your search this fall.